Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha Izundu, if you are new here. And today we have a new video of new makeup in Australia. I missed last fortnight because I was on a mini vacay, but I'm back. I'm very excited because now we actually have some really exciting things to talk about. There's been a big drop at Mecca, so we've got lots to talk about at Mecca. If you are new here, just a brief rundown, what I do is I talk about all new makeup that is accessible for Australians. So what we do uh, is we look through Australian websites, um, so like Priceline, Mecca, Sephora, and then we go over to like Trend Mood and talk about what we think will come, if it does come. Basically, I just filter out all the other brands internationally that we cannot access. All right, we are to the side and we're ready to go. Let's start with Priceline. Now Priceline has a few new things, but I wouldn't say excessive, um, which is fine. So the first thing that I want to show you, you know, when I first saw this, I was like, oh my God, it's finally here. No, you know, the um, Maybelline dupe, the Charlotte Tilbury um, cream highlighter. What do you call it? Flawless Hollywood filter. I get confused, all the names sound the same. Um, the four in one or the five in one. We still haven't gotten it and how long ago did it release? Well, I thought we got it, but no, it's the Instant Age Rewind Instant Perfector four in one. So it's the opposite of glowy. It is mattifying product. There are three shades, light, medium, fair light, and medium deep. And it is a matte makeup which has a whipped lightweight texture that blurs, pores, conceals, blemishes, mattifies, and even skin tone all in one step. So it's that same idea where it's an all in one, but on the matte side. When are we, are we gonna get the glowy one? I think they weren't predicting it to be so popular and it just sold out in America and I don't know if they were in Europe, um, that they just never made it to Australia. That's my prediction because that blew up. It really blew up that product. Uh, but we never saw the light of day. Right, this next thing looks really pretty and I'm tempted by it, but you know me, I have too much lipstick. <laughs> this is from L'Oreal. This is the Glow Paradise Balm in lipstick and L'Oreal does a really nice, um, like, shine lipstick formula. I really like the ones in this packaging where it's like, not a bullet, but in a, what do you call that? Like a stem? <laughs> I don't know what you call that. Um, so this is a balm in lipstick with 98% natural origin ingredients for lips. So healthy looking, they glow, available in a range of natural shine shades to hydrate and protect lips. Suitable for sensitive lips and every lip tone. I like the colors actually, that I would, uh, that I would use all of those colors um, as you'll see in the picture. Um, so this is something I'm interested in at sale price potentially because I just the component the actual packaging is beautiful and I feel confident that this product would be really nice too because their color riche formula I love I love the color riche shine that's it from Priceline then we have at Sephora now this says it's new I'm not sure what's new about it. This is the Armani Power Fabric and Ultra Longwear Matte Foundation, um, $105. Now, I thought they always had the Power Fabric, so let's have a look at the description. Maybe it's been reformulated because it says it's new, but it's basically saying it's a cream to liquid to powder formula, long lasting coverage or oil to powder. That would not look good on my skin. Okay, one size. Let's have a little chat about these. This is the Made for Shade Sculpting Bronzer Trio. There are lots of shades. That's $59. We've got six different shades. Wonderful. Um, I do think that, I mean, I know it's for fair skin, but it looks like it's yellow again. Really light and yellow. It might not be. I'm just going off the picture. But if I were to get this, I'd skip and go to light because light has the neutral undertones that I desire and fair just looks yellow. So these are being reviewed as very heavily pigmented, uh, which is just not my cup of tea. So I would pass on it, but I really like the shade range and that there are three bronzers. So you like your sculpt highlight. Oh no, you can have something really light. I actually don't know, I should have read that. Use shade as an all over bronzer. Bronze for a warm glow without shimmer and sculpt to shape. And then also from one size, they have the Cheek Clapper 
3D Blush Trio and the same price $59 and this cut also comes in six shades the top of the three blushes is a cream so the bronzer was all powder but this has a cream in it um, and then I think the bottom one is shimmery and the middle one is matte really pretty colors I don't know I don't know if I want this I, they're very big and bulky which is kind of why uh, I don't want it as well tart tarty tart I always look past Tarte and I don't know why. Ah, one of the reasons why I'll get to in a second. Um, this is the Sea Breezy eyeshadow palette uh, for $47. I think the issue is everything they do is exactly the same. Same mauve tones, neutral tones, which I, I get it, like that's their aesthetic. And I think they really sell well to people who aren't deep, deep in the makeup community and just want to go into a store and get a nice bronzer or blush or eyeshadow palette that's just very neutral. And I totally get that. There's a market for that. Um, so I think that's what keeps them going is the walk-in people that aren't like super duper committed to the lifestyle of makeup. <laughs> um, but I have heard that eyeshadow is a good quality. So it's not something I would say I would never try, but I've just, I don't feel the urge. I did buy their mini serum foundation. I donated it, I didn't like it. Anyway, uh, they also have an eyeshadow palette. This is the Tartlet Jewel Amazonian Clay eyeshadow palette. I really like the colors in this, $33, that's a good price. But one thing that annoys me about Tarte is they're very exclusive with their shade range. And they're quite a big company. So they've got this Clay Play Go To Cheek palette, one shade. It used to be acceptable years ago. It's not acceptable. And um, I saw this, I clicked on it. I was like, oh, that's cute. But then I just saw there was one shade. I was like, oh, that's not cute. <laughs> so I think, and even with their eyeshadows, they do cater to lighter skin tones. So I'm going to start a little passy pass on that one. Did we talk about the Rare Beauty lipstick? I don't, I think we did on Trend Mood. See, that sometimes I get confused. I'm like, I'm pretty sure I talked about it, but I think we were talking about it coming to Australia, but it, we didn't have a date. All right, Rare Beauty Kind Words Matte Lipstick, $34. This looks real pretty. How many shades? Three, six, nine, 10 shades. Very nice looking shades. I've heard good things about this. And then the uh, matte lip liners are $26. And they have five, just shy of five star reviews. Okay, so from Sephora, from Sephora, we're talking about Sephora, from Milk Makeup, the Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer for $28. If you're oily, I've got to mention it because not everyone is me, right? <laughs> um, this is a mattifying and blurring face primer that is an ideal base for your makeup and a picture perfect complexion. Mm. I mean, if I was oily, I would be interested. Yeah, that's it from Sephora. All right, Mecca. This is where we're going to be chatting. Chatting with chat chats. Okay, Mecca Max have Zoom Stick, Zoom Shadow Sticks in a matte formula now. So I want to buy one. I want to buy Torp. I want to try Torp because... I want to compare it to the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick and Oh Natural, which I love. I use it all the time for like no eyeshadow days, but I just want like a skin kind of tone, but a little bit more. Um, and the top shade looks like it would be that. It looks slightly different. It looks a little bit more cool tone, but um, the they've got shimmer ones, which are quite nice. Um, they did crease on me, but it was a shimmer formula, which is very different to a matte formula. So I want to give these a try. $19 and there's quite a few shades and it's not makeup, but I'm quickly going to mention Kit is back. All, you know, you know, Kit, you know what I'm talking about. Kit that used to be in Maya. Um, well, I, when I was younger, I knew it to be in Maya. It is now at Mecca. Was it at Mecca before? Cause I actually don't know. Um, but anyway, it's back and it's all skincare. I was gifted, 
the face mist. I can't remember what it's called. When I see it, I'll mention it. And it's like a, oh here, the mineral water cleanser. But it's like a morning, low maintenance cleanser made from my cells. Low maintenance formula, busy morning to fast paced living. Inventive tonic rehydrates, awakens and cleanses skin off of pillow residue sweat and last night's skincare routine so it's like a morning spray if you don't if you're not having a morning shower say you're a nighttime shower person spray this in the morning and then be done be on with your day or with everything else in your routine like you don't have to do it's like a refresher you don't have to do the whole skincare routine if you're busy in the morning i love it i have it next to my bed i think it's a great idea um, because when I first saw it, I thought it was like a micellar water, but it is, but it isn't. It's a very interesting product. Um, so they've got some interesting products that they've got. They've got a melatonin night balm, which I'm interested in. Um, I think that would really help with sleeping. Just some really interesting products. So I would definitely check that out. Now, Nars, baby Nars is back with the Laguna Cream Bronzers. Laguna Bronzers, not. It's called Laguna Bronzing Cream, but there are now five shades. Now I got this when it originally came out and there was the one shade in Laguna and I was devastated that it was one shade and also sold out and limited edition. Well, I think other people were also very upset. So they've brought it back with five shades and there's actually a lighter shade than what I bought. It's out of stock online, but it might be in store. Um, I got the original, which have made Laguna number two, light, medium bronze with neutral undertones. I love it. I love it. It's my favorite cream bronzer. Highly recommend it if you are interested. I just did a comparison on my TikTok with this and the Elf Putty bronzer um, because they're quite different formulas. NARS is very long wear. It dries down to a satin finish. You can use it over powder, under powder. It's and it's it's a beautiful product. So I highly recommend if you're interested in getting a, a cream bronzer. It is $57, so keep that in mind. Um, but I, I highly recommend it. Now, there's a couple of things I bought with this Mega Drop. And I'm going to let you know as we talk about it. But I haven't received it yet because I bought it online. Because some of the brands, a lot of brands... I don't have in my store so i have sometimes i buy things online synchro skin radiant lifting foundation 30 shades from shiseido this is not that original one that's a little bit matte this is a radiant one and so many american people rave about this as being their favorite foundation so you know i had to buy it no you know i had to buy it i bought the shade 140 porcelain not really knowing there was no fair neutral shade oh it's out of stock online now i got in quick because there was either very very fair or f i'm not very very fair i'm just fair but it was like either yellow or pink undertone so i went for pink hope it's okay yeah it's, it says it's slight rose tone for fair skin slight rose so i'm thinking that'll be the best for me um anyway let's i'm going to tell you what it is innovative formula calls on light adjusting technology that addresses three major obstacles that impede radiance fine lines and wrinkles uneven skin tone and loss of hydration a combination of transparent pearls uh, radiant micro crystals and advanced optical filters balances and adapts to any ambient lighting condition while an exclusive blend of humectants binds moisture to the skin for 24 hour hydration infused with mandarin peel extract to help support skin's radiance it's weightless and smudge resistant foundation offers instant results and lasting luminosity non-comedogenic and dermatologist tested for your skin whoever wrote that description is very talented. What a beautiful description of a foundation. Too Faced have a fluff and hold laminating brow wax for $37. I just have no interest in Too Faced, if I'm honest. Of the lately, I'm not saying never say never, but all their products just don't interest me. Uh, laminating liquid wax formula to add volume, texture, and total control to give you fluffy, perfectly polished brows with the right amount of hold. It actually sounds really good. One shade, so it's gonna be clear. It actually sounds really good. <laughs> I'm such a contradiction. I bought this next one I'm going to talk about from Mac. I have been waiting for these to drop because I've been watching them on social media. It's the Velvet Blur Slim Lipstick, Slim Stick Lipstick in 12 shades 
for $38. The shade range is really good. I couldn't, I struggled to pick one. I just wanted to try one. I ended up buying over, M Mullet Over, which is the one I will show you. Um, but some of the shades, Hot Paprika. Now, these are existing shades, I think, right? But it's a moisture-infused velvety longwear lipstick. I'm hoping it's like a, like a sheer blotted lip velvety texture. Like, I don't like the thick ones. I want it to be more of a, a sheer one. So that's why I wanted to try this over their original blur lipsticks. Experience moisture matte to the max with 12 hours of on-trend mega bold color and ultra weightless wear. That's what I was hoping for. Uh, the more you the more you powder kiss, the softer, smoother, suppler your lips with full coverage shades that hydrate lips instantly and over time. We'll see. Oh, introduce your lips powder kisses bolder sister. It's gonna be bolder than the powder kiss. Okay. Well, we'll see about that. <laughs> Rose Ink, yes, let's talk about Rose Ink. This is the Solar Radiance Hydrating Cream Highlighter. I don't think this has been getting amazing reviews. I am not interested in it. I don't like cream bronzers in this format. I don't know, I do and I don't, it really depends, but I find them a bit thicker when they're in a balm pot like that. I don't know, I don't know, I haven't actually tried it. Um, but there are five shades and skin smoothing hybrid. Velvet Soft Cream illuminates the complexion with sheer radiance. I like that it says sheer. Oh, MAC has an online only Boldly Bare Lush Lipwear Mini Lipstick Kit, which sounds great if you wanna try MAC in lots of shades. It looks like it's a, a mix of reds, pinks, neutrals. $72, which ain't bad. Okay, so Byredo has an eyeshadow palette, 18 colors, Flora, Kalari. Kalahari, Kalahari, $143, uh, which is quite expensive, but I think it's quite a big palette and it's by Rado. This says it's limited edition. It looks very pretty. The colors look really pretty. I'm not going to buy this. I just think it's a little bit too expensive. I mean, the thing is, I don't know the quality of this for me to be forking out that kind of money. Like with Natasha Denona, like I, I know it's going to be good when I buy it. Um, but the actual tones of this are stunning. If this was cheaper, I would probably get this. But I just think it's a lot of money. Okay, this is what I did buy. It says there's a new shade, but they were out of stock. So I don't know what the new shade is, but I bought this. This is also very expensive, but I really wanted to try this one. Because I am liking small palettes. I think that was another reason I didn't want to try the other Byredo palette. It's quite big. And I'm more attracted to small palettes or even single shadows at the moment. So this is the Byredo. It's also Byredo five color eyeshadow palette. They, I bought this shade in corporate colors, but there are five, five shades. Um, I'll show you one of their really fun ones. This one's cute. They have, it's quite a range of different color stories. Like they've done really neutral, kind of warmy, purpley, ready tones. They've done this one. They've done a really colorful one. I think they've done well with the color stories. Anyway, I'm trying it. Those were the things that I bought. I didn't buy anything else. <laughs> okay, anything else? At Glam Radar, the Australian makeup online retailer, retailer. There is the, oh, it's pre-order, but I'll show you anyway, because you can order it on pre-order. This is the Kimchi and Trixie Mattel collection. It looks beautiful. So you can get the whole collection. I'll show you the picture. You get the whole collection for 345. I've heard really good things about Kimchi. I have one clear lip gloss that I got from Glam Radar Mystery Box, and it's such a good clear lip gloss. Like I know it's like, can it be really that good? Yeah, it can. And it's really good. So we've got highlighters, blushes, eyeshadow palette, liquid lipstick and lipsticks. Oh, there's more. And then right after that collab is Trixie Cosmetics. So they're just like making each other money. Red scare liquid lipstick. I'll show you these. Their aesthetic is very similar as well, like very feminine, hyper feminine, pink, Barbie kind of vibes. Um, Danessa Myricks has, no one talks about this. Like when that, this first Lightwork palette came out, 
didn't it? Like, people were raving about it. Now they've brought out the third one, Experience Palette, and literally no one's talked about it. $135. I'm not interested. I don't know that. I just think I would rather support indie multi dimensional shadows. And I know she used to be indie, but I don't know. I don't know. I get funny sometimes about. Like, I feel like multi dimensional shades are indie. Like, yeah, that belongs to indie. Is she indie though? I reckon, yeah, technically she would be, wouldn't she? I eat my lids. Be Perfect has Lockdown Luxe Pressed Powder. Um, oh, and I got the bronzer in there too. There's also bronzers. Um, and then Laura B did a collab with, I don't know who that is, with Be Perfect for, it looks like a face palette. The One Palette, Laura B. The One Palette, $59.95. It looks like it's got eyeshadows, blushes, and highlighters. I'm having a squeeze at Beauty Bay because they do stock brands that we struggle to get. For example, Physicians Formula, they are no longer at Priceline. Isn't that crazy, crazy talk? Okay, so from Physicians Formula, there's a few things. I'll just quickly run over them. Four-in-one makeup brush. Oh, I thought that was a foundation. Uh, Butter Believe It Face Powder. There's only like two shades. Translucent and creamy natural. Whoa. Um, Butter Believe It eyeshadow palette. Everything's on sale, but the retail value is $22. Um, the Matte Manoi Butter eyeshadow palette, $22. And the Micro Brow Pen Universal Brown, one shade, $18.50. Um, a Blush in Pink Sands for $21. And another one in Movi Matte, for 21 now that is just for not even light skin everything's for fair skin that's craziness um bh by beauty bay i get them all so confused all the bbbs we have the super plump lip gloss duo sheer tinder lip balm trio which looks great on sale for 21.55 and then nyx has ultimate queen 40 pan shadow palette 59.25 i don't reckon we'll get this at price line we don't get everything from nyx we never got that Born to Glow range. We don't get everything in it. It actually hurts my feelings. Like, oh, by Beauty Bay has a new eyeshadow palette. It's not really, I haven't seen the hype around this. Maybe I've just missed it. New Mood Palette, $27. Very pretty, but it's not, it's not my aesthetic, but I think it's a very pretty color story if you do like color. Yeah, let's keep it at that. And then let's go over to Trend Mood and have a little chitty but chatty. Chitty, chitty, chatty, chatty. Now it's been a long time, so I need to scroll down. Oh, okay, let's start here. The Danessa, not Danessa. The Danessa was right next to it, which we just spoke to about. The Pat McGrath New Mothership 10 palette, Moonlit Seduction. Very pretty. A little too cool for me. And when I say that, the shimmers I love. But if I look at the mattes, they're just not the kind of mattes that I like. Like that brown, that dark brown is too cool toned for me. Um, so th for that reason, I think it's a beautiful, beautiful palette. I really, really do. But I, the shimmers, I, I love all shimmers. But mattes, I like it to be complementary to my skin tone like more neutral or warm. Um, and this just looks, yeah, not my vibe, but gorgeous, just gorgeous. Juvia's Plates has a new palette collection situation. And we haven't heard from Juvia's Place, Place in a while, I feel. God, I used to love Juvia's Place. Um, this is not my color story, but I still think it's actually really pretty. And I like the concept, Garden of Juvia's. So we have the palette for 25 US dollars. Lip glosses are $14. And eyeliners are $15 US. Very pretty. Too Faced. Did we talk about Too Faced? So the eyeshadow palette is $54. I don't know what it's called. Better than chocolate collection. Oh. They just all look the same, don't they? They always have a pop of pink and then neutral tones. And a blue. It's always the same. Um, eight cocoa bold lipsticks, white chocolate and raspberry scent. Oh, lip injection, maximum plump, chocolate plump. What? 
Ugh, that sounds not good. Uh, liquid liner. Better than sex liquid liner in chocolate. Oh, oh, everything's brown. Better than sex mascara chocolate. Oh, actually, okay. Natural chocolate bronzer, golden cocoa and caramel cocoa. So they're obviously just new shades, but they look like they might be shimmery. Um, and the Born This Way Ethereal Light Illuminating Smoothing Concealer, $29. I'm interested in the concealer. And potentially the mascara. Okay, I, I think I like that. I think I like this collection. Not everything, but I like the sounds of it. Charlotte Tilbury, what's this? Kissing Island Dream Lipstick. Limited edition satin soft sun kiss coral lipstick creating collaboration with Keisha Wee. This shade is inspired by the dreamy sun kiss days in Ibiza and island girl Keisha's Keisha or Keisha, I don't know her who she is. Home country of Singapore, 34 US dollars. There is also a face palette and concealers. Oh, we've seen the face palette, but not the concealers. Hold the front. F hold the what is it? Hold hold the phone. Hold the phone. That's a very pretty color lipstick. Lancome. We'll probably get this. New Tinty Doll Ultra Wear Care and Glow Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid. Where's Lancome? We have it at Mecca. And it is at Sephora too, isn't it? I think. A healthy looking glow serum foundation with buildable medium coverage SPF 27 plus hyaluronic and mandelic acids to hydrate and smooth skin for natural looking glow finish. 47 US dollars, 30 shades, four radiant finish, 26 natural finish. Oh, there's two different finishes. Elevatable July 14. So I don't know if we have this, I haven't seen it. So it'd be cool if we got that. Colourpop Bon Voyage collection, and it's a collab. Is that a cartoon I've never heard of? Probably, it says collab. So you get the Bon Voyage Breast Powder Palette 24 Pan, $30 Super Shock Shadows. Oh, they're cute. They're really cute Super Shock Shadows. Lux Lip Oils, gel, Moisturizing Gel Oil Formula with Chamomile and Calendula Oils. Super Shock Shadows, it said that already. Inspired by BT21 character with tie-dye finish. I don't know what that means. I'm not really into cartoons and I don't know. I don't like the palette, but I think the Super Shocks are really pretty. I'm gonna show you a, a close-up of the Super Shocks. They're so pretty. Oh, I think I saw this actually. I think I accidentally went past it. The Juno Birch collab with Trixie Mattel's Cosmetics. I did, I, I think I just accidentally scrolled past this. I think it was on Beauty Bay or Glam Radar. Anyway, I didn't realize because I think Juno Birch is fantastic. Um, eyeshadow palette is $48 for 12 eyeshadows and liquid lipsticks is $16 each. Oh, uh, now that I look at the palette, yeah, that's very John Bir Juno Birch. I think I'm gonna have to get this. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Collection, but they've got the Ambient Glow Soft Glow Foundation. We haven't got it yet, but it's been getting good reviews, hasn't it? It's definitely my cup of tea. So um, $58 American, so under $100. But, and then the foundation brush is 47. I think I wanna try this. Um, infused with blurring spheres to minimize the look of imperfections for skin formula, resistant to humidity and sweat. So it's gonna be like sk perfected skin. That's just what I want. I don't want like overly glowy or overly matte. I just like that beautiful, your skin but better look. Weightless liquid foundation that delivers buildable medium coverage, natural finish with light diffusing effect. Yes, 32 shades. Okay, e.l.f. I think we can all agree we'll probably get this in like 12 months. Like e.l.f. is not good at coming to Australia on time. Um, this is the Halo Glow liquid filter that everyone is raving about as a Charlotte Tilbury dupe. Um, I actually haven't watched reviews, so I don't know, but like when I see swatches, it looks pretty similar. Um, so I don't need to talk about it because we know, but there are eight shades. We know that it's going to be a similar to the Hollywood Flawless filter. I can never remember the name. Looks very pretty. I think I would definitely get it. Oh yes, Natasha Denona. Is this already out? No, we haven't got it yet. Why haven't we got it? 
usually we're pretty good with Natasha at Sephora. The mini bronze palette. I don't, did we get this? I didn't see it on Sephora's website. I don't think we got it. Uh, five shades, four mattes, one metallic. I actually really like it because I don't have the bronze palette and I like the shimmer and I, li I do like it. I don't think I really need it though. Like I feel like I have those on repeat, those shades. Clay It Cool collection from ColourPop. It looks really pretty and I really want to try the bronzes. So we have the palette, 10 ter terracotta shades, um, 16 US dollars, blotted lip, improved cream leaf formula for sheer buildable color with a blurred focus matte finish like that. Soul Shimmering Body Powder in Golden Peach. And then the Super Shop bronzes are back. What do you mean back? Did, were they there before? Was it a long time ago? Six new matte shades. I would like to try the lightest shade. It looks neutral and I like it. And I wanna try it. I certainly do. Oh, Laura Mercier has got an Ultra Blur Talc Free Translucent Setting Powder, Talc Free. There you go, three shades. I'm assuming honey, yes. Translucent honey and medium deep. Okay, I want this, I wanna try this. I've been seeing it and I really wanna try it. And I've never, I don't think I've ever tried Givenchy. This is the Prism Loose Setting and Finishing Powder in Powdery Pink. I want that. They have the La Rouge Sheer Velvet Matte Lipstick, 43 US dollars and the Perfecto Lip Balm. Oh, where's the highlighter? I wanted the highlighter too. It's like a pink highlighter and it's like a smaller version, but I want the pink powder too. So that'll be a Sephora thing for me. Then new shades of matchsticks by Fenty and they are 10 new shades, buildable cream to powder, formula made to layer on and blend. Banana peach, pumpkin, rose quartz. I think they are like color correcting shades. Soft Amber, Amber Suede and Swedish, which I think are contour shades. And then Truffle Spark are Is Cream and Crowned Is Highlighter Shades. It's crazy, I miss one month and I'm just, it's a lot, it's a lot. But there's also a lot that we're not gonna get. Okay, Shantakai. This is the new collection. We have Black Jaguar collection and the, the Cougar collection. So we've got the Lip Sheeks and the Eye Quads. Obviously, I probably wouldn't go the blue one because I don't like blue eyeshadow, but the Cougar looks quite nice. RMS Beauty. So the blushes I really want to try, I think they said they were coming September or October to Mecca because I did ask, but I don't remember the answer. But it was like spring. It was springtime. But they also have the Re-Evolve Natural Finish Liquid Foundation, Silicon Free Skincare Infused Daily Wear Liquid Foundation. I'm a huge fan of RMS. I love RMS. Medium, long lasting medium coverage with satin natural finish, firms and softens, 48 US dollars, 16 shades. Now I don't know when that's gonna come to Australia, but I would say we're gonna get it. The Melt Murta palette is coming back. Um, Absolutely gorgeous, but not my color story, but I actually think the color story is phenomenal. Color pop again, shock horror. We have the matte about hue, all matte rainbow palette. That is, oh, I like neutral and shimmery. That is literally the opposite of what I want. <laughs> uh, but there's something for everyone. P. Louise. P. Louise is a glam raider, I think. So I'm gonna talk about, is this P. Louise? No, oh, it looks like P. Louise. <laughs> this is P. Louise. I knew I'd seen something. So I reckon we'll get this at Glam Raider. This is the Money Shot Eyeshadow Palette, which is the green one, and then the Back Yourself. Wait, oh, hold on, there's three. There's three palettes. The top two pictures, is one palette that is double drawed, which is the Money Shot Eyeshadow Palette for $59. Then we have the orangey tone one is Back Yourself. And then the small green one is Health is Wealth, 22 US dollars each. Interesting. I've heard great things about P. Louise formula, but it's just too bulky and not my color stories, but I've heard good things about the formula. Oh my God, one more to go and then we're done. This is gonna be a long video. Uh, the Looney Tunes collab with iHeart Revolution. We might get this because we have iHeart Revolution at Priceline and sometimes we just get random collabs coming on in. So we might get this, which is why I'm going to talk about it. Um, who doesn't love you, Looney Tunes? Uh, we have the large palette for £20. Then we have the mini shadow palette, £8. There's three of four of them. 
Lip oils are five pound. Big Bugs Carrot Brush Set. What? Oh, they're little carrots. 15 pound. Cosmetic bag, eight pound. And sponge set, 12 pound. That's everything. We're done. I don't think there's any Australian stuff that's come out that I know of, um, off the top of my head. But that is everything. Oh my God, you must be exhausted. I'm exhausted now. I have to edit this. Pray for me. Um, thank you so much for watching, guys. And I just want to quickly remind you, if you do have TikTok or you want to get TikTok, I have TikTok and I do these kinds of videos on TikTok and little mini reviews. So go check me out there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.